these are the OpenStack components as per the official documentation. But as a beginner, if you look into this diagram, you won't understand even a single one. So to make you understand, let me take you back to your college days. The basic building block of OpenStack is a virtual machine. Now imagine what all components do you need to build a machine, either physical or virtual. First and foremost, we need the hardware, which is CPU, RAM and disk. In OpenStack, these are called as compute resources or the Nova component. After that, we need an image, basically the operating system, and that is called as GLANS. Then we need to connect this machine to the network and the network component is called Neutron. We may also need external hard disk for more storage space and that is called as Cinder in OpenStack. We also need users and accounting management that is called as Keystone in OpenStack. At last, we need a control panel to manage all these resources. So that is called as Horizon Dashboard in OpenStack. If you look into this diagram now, you will understand majority of the components. However, there are still some components which you cannot understand and can be understood later in detail. So when you launch a VM on OpenStack dashboard, you need to provide these components only. VM name, the source, which is the VM image, the flavor, which is the CPU, RAM and disk configuration and the network with which the VM has to be attached. Rest all are optional parameters and we launch an instance. An instance will be created like this with all the parameters that we provided and a VM console login is available just like a normal system.